The ATF is the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. What this lab does is it allows us to run uh, a lot of tests that maybe we wouldn't have the opportunity to run elsewhere. Established in 2003, the lab is committed to cracking arson cases using extraordinarily detailed recreation fires. The invention of the cone calorimeter in the 1980s was a turning point in scientists' ability to measure the size and power of a fire. But the first calorimeter was only big enough to burn small objects. Today, the ATF's Fire Research Lab is home to one of the largest calorimeters in the world with a venting hood of 60 by 60 feet. And in that space, we might burn a bus, uh, we might burn uh, a two-story structure, something that's going to be a fairly large fire. The calorimeter measures the mass of the smoke and other materials in order to determine the size of a fire in watts, kilowatts, and megawatts. The ATF also has thermal imaging cameras allowing agents to view hot spots through the smoke. It's one thing for an engineer to talk about what happened in a fire. It's another thing to show a jury some video. Scientists are also developing a new tool called a nanoscopic electronic nose, which will be able to detect scents far beyond the abilities of a human being. This ultra-small e-nose will give them the smelling power of an insect, using thousands of nanowire sensors to identify accelerants like gasoline or kerosene. But the biggest challenge for fire investigators will be in continuing to lead with science, rather than with traditional preconceived notions of arson. 